Well, welcome this afternoon. We'd like to convene as a Utah State Board of Regents, and we're excited to welcome all of you here who are friends, family, and supporters of Utah University, Utah Valley, you certainly. <laughs> it's been a, a good day. <laughs> <laughs> certainly, I want to recognize all the trustees who are here and who have been engaged with this in this uh, process. We've reached a pivotal mo moment uh, for Utah Valley University. It was back in November when President Holland announced that he was called as an LDS mission president. His impact on the university cannot be overstated. Under his leadership during the last nine years, the university has transformed into a national leader in a dual mission model, an exemplary example of student engagement and hands-on learning and has maintained a focus on inclusivity and opportunity. President Holland's strong and steady leadership has guided the university beyond even the most optimistic expectations. We are grateful for his service and dedication on behalf of this institution. We also recognize the significant contributions of Paige. The search for new... <laughs> going to be hard to see the two of you go. We appreciate you. The search for a new president is a significant undertaking and has required months of work. I would like to recognize the efforts of the search committee chaired by Regent Steve Lund and trustee chair Elaine Dalton. The committee included regents, trustees, members of the university's faculty, staff, students, and representatives of the community and alumni. Would the search committee please stand to be recognized? Anyone who is on the committee. <laughs> Commissioner Bueller's office managed the search, and we would like to thank the commissioner's staff and others here at the university with particular thanks to Lorene Olney and Candace Gardner, who coordinated all the logistics for yesterday and today. I would like to turn the floor over to Regent Steve Lund, co-chair of the search committee for a few comments, and then to co-chair Elaine Dalton. Thank you, uh, Dan. Is this running, working? Is it working? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm a convert to this process, uh, this amazing process that we use to select presidents. Uh, Elaine and I were asked to chair a committee of 24 people to, to initiate this search. And in my professional life, a committee of 24 people has never been anything but an argument. <laughs> and, and yet this, the system of having those 24 people <clears throat> solicit dozens of applicants and, and qualify those applicants and then narrow those applicants <clears throat> down to four finalists and then passing those four applicants or those four finalists off to the Board of Regents who take fresh eyes and go back and relook at this situation with confidence that the initial committee had pre-qualified this group so that any of the four would be a successful um, uh, eventual president, and then allowing the, uh, the Board of Regents to, to carefully review and interview and go through that process again, ends up being a vetting process that just turns the issues over with so many wise eyes. And so I really commend our original committee and then the Regents for the wisdom that they've, they've brought to this difficult task. And it did involve a lot of work and many, many, many hours along the way. But let me just say that the real work was done by these candidates who dozen, by the dozens came in and put their lives on display and uh, devoted tremendous amount of time and energy and 
ego and will and, and exposure to, um, you know, to a likelihood of, of, uh, of defeat that we really owe a debt of gratitude for. May I invite a round of applause for these great people. And so I'm, uh, I say I'm a convert to this process, but I am, I am converted. I believe that it's, uh, it's worked tremendously well. So uh, we'll look forward to uh, an announcement shortly. Elaine? Well, I, I just have to say that it has been such a privilege to be here at UVU. Uh, I have loved every minute of it, and I have to thank President Holland for having, uh, taking a risk on a girl from Ogden uh, who went to Weber State and then to BYU, but I have fallen in love with UVU. This process has been amazing to me, and I feel like I've taken a graduate course in leadership and business management and every, every other kind of thing. I've learned so much. But mostly what I have learned is that we are surrounded by greatness and great people, and the caliber of the applicants that applied from the very beginning was so high, and I think that's a compliment to this community. I think it's a compliment to the faculty and the staff and all that you do. I think it's a compliment to the regents who have done such a terrific job and to the trustees and to President Holland and Paige. They have really taken this university into a new era, and, and we look forward to participating a little bit more and, uh, and helping this trajectory just keep going forward. So I, I, I'm in with my heart, my mind, and strength, and, um, and I'm just so grateful to all of you and, and for the process, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm confident that you'll be pleased with the selection and that the great, the great things we've inherited from President Holland will be carried forward. So thank you. I don't know that Steve and Elaine understood how much they were taking on when they were asked to co-chair this search committee. And it has been a joy to have that search committee representing our community be engaged, but as uh, was referred to, to have candidates come from around the world to be able to come to this institution and to appreciate its unique mission and the quality of the people who uh, serve and work here and the students and the community, it's been a real treat. So I'd like to extend a round of appreciation to, to Stephen and Elaine for their great service as coaches. <laughs> well, with that, it's now time for the reason we're all here. And so with that, I would call on, on Regent Lund to make a motion. Thank you, Chair Campbell. I am pleased to tender the nomination of the successor to Matthew S. Holland and a whole pantheon of great leaders that have preceded him to serve as the next president of Utah Valley University, Astrid Tumaniz. <laughs> Well, Steve, as good as that motion was, and as much as, as, uh, as much excitement as it generated, we still need a second. So, so a second by Nina Barnes, Regent Barnes. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you very much. President Tumanus.
President Tumanez was chosen from an outstanding field of national and international candidates. She's been proven to be a dynamic and effective leader across academic, nonprofit, public policy, and corporate sectors. She is focused on bridging gaps in education and opportunity to make a difference in people's lives. We look forward to our future association with President Tumanez. She is currently serving as the Regional Director for Corporate, External, and Legal Affairs in Southeast Asia for Microsoft. Prior to her current role, she was the Vice Dean of Research and Assistant Dean of Executive Education at the Lee Kuan Liu School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore. There, she trained over 2,000 government officials and private sector professionals in leadership and organizational change. Her previous positions include senior consultant to the U.S. Institute of Peace, director of research at AIG Global Investment, and program officer at Carnegie Corporation of New York. She previously, previously ran the Moscow office of the Harvard Project on strengthening democratic institutions. She holds a bachelor's degree from BYU, a master's degree from Harvard University, and a doctoral degree from MIT. Her impressive accomplishments throughout her career show that she has the strength and ability to continue the university on its current upward trajectory. We are so pleased that she has accepted this new responsibility and look forward to her leadership. We also welcome her husband, Jeffrey Tolk. Join me in welcoming President Tumanez to the UVU family. Thank you. I'd now like to turn some time to Commissioner Dave Bueller for some comments, and then we'll turn the, the podium over to President Astrid Tumanez. Well, thank you, Chair Campbell and President Tumanez. Let me congratulate you. And on behalf of the Utah System of Higher Education, we welcome you, as you'll be a valued member of the Council of Presidents and working with me and the other presidents to uh, and the Board of Regents, your Board of Trustees here at UVU, to further expand educational opportunities for the people of Utah. We're very excited to work with you, and we look forward to the, a long association. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank because I am so short, I'm sorry, I think I have to remove the mic and, and speak over here. <laughs> Uh, in Asia, we bow. Thank you so much. Um, I feel a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. I'm dazed and, and uh, amazed and, and very, very humbled, and I want to thank all of you. And I, I'm sure like those people who win the Oscars, they forget to thank some people. So I apologize in advance if I forget to thank some people. Uh, first of all, thank you very much to Commissioner Bueller, to Chairman Campbell, and the Board of Regents. Thank you for this opportunity and the trust that you're giving in me. I will try to deserve it uh, in this position. I'd like to thank the search committee and the Board of Trustees, the students who led me yesterday, um, the President's Council, everyone who has been so kind and delightful and welcoming. I would also like to thank uh, the other candidates because this is a grueling process. <laughs> it's not for the faint of heart. And I would like to thank them. I'm, I'm very honored to have been considered uh, together with them. And um, President Holland and Paige Holland, I'd like you to know I'll never be able to fill your shoes ever. I don't know what size shoes you wear, <laughs> but um, also I know you're over six feet. And I am 4'11 and uh, four fifths almost five feet, almost five feet, I defend my height. Um, but thank you so much for, for what you've done here. I have been amazed by what I've seen and the people I've talked to. And your father was my president. I think I saw you as a young man on campus. <laughs> so I, I will try to honor what you have built and to build on it and to, and to help that legacy move forward. 
I know that UVU is an amazing community. The students that I met with yesterday inspired me. They asked some tough questions, and they are dynamic. They are inspired. They want to change the world. I know that the faculty here are highly qualified. They want to make a difference. I know that the staff are very, very hardworking and maybe a little overworked, but I honor them also and thank them. And I have a special friend I want to thank, who's an adjunct professor here, Kent Christensen, an artist. I don't know if Kent is here. He was the one who told me about this job opening. So, so I don't know, I owe him at least dinner. Um, <laughs> Um, I want to thank my wonderful family. I want to honor my parents. Uh, my father is not here anymore. My mother is 84. Neither of my parents went to college. And, and um, my mother is, uh, has had a very hard life. She's a fighter, and she's a very smart woman. And my sister over there, and my brother-in-law, Bruce, my sister uh, raised me. She was only 15 years old and had to raise uh, six siblings. So thank you very much for raising me. Um, <laughs> And um, and uh, if I may quote the Bible in closing, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids. In those days will I pour out my spirit. I believe in this incredible vision of inclusion of sons and daughters, of old men and women, young men and women, of servants and handmaids. And I think that is the dual mission that, that, that UVU is all about. I will promise to work very hard, and um, I hope that I can count on all of you for your support, because this is a very big job indeed. Um, so I will close here, and I hope that I can deserve this opportunity. Thank you so much. I'd like to call President Paige Holland forward, please. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here, and we're excited for our seventh president. And please feel free to come up and uh, extend your, your welcome to, to President Tumanez. And we'll stand adjourned.